Hi, my name is Gary Kristen, and my dear friend Jenny Lynch, the astrologer, asked me to give a, a thorough explanation of one of the great works of the late Arthur Blackwell. Now, Arthur Blackwell was a sidereal astrologer who later became a non sidereal or tropical astrologer, or as you would say, do you prefer your zodiac moving or fixed? He didn't care. He was on to other things. Now, Arthur was the son of a cartographer and the grandson of a horologist. And of course, they produced an astrologer of great merit. Arthur's great contribution has to do with angularity, the works of Babylon uh, brought forward into modern astrology, and the introduction in widespread use of Perans. He did this in the late 60s and early 70s bringing the ideas of how the Babylonians were working with the horizon and we were looking for co-transits and co-risings on the horizon. So he invented a device based on some of the works of his father called a polar azimuthal equidistant projection. Now this is a different kind of a projection. The words, I know the words are very big and mouthfuls, but it's a different kind of a projection. It's a horizon projection. Now, normal horoscopes are 12 pizza, pizza pie type charts. They're based on the ecliptic and the ecliptic plane. Mundane astrologers may work with the equator and the equatorial plane. Arthur was concerned very much with the local horizon and what rose and what set. So we're going to introduce a horoscope here that shows the great circles. This is a three-dimensional form. It's a modern form. And we're going to introduce it in such a way so that you can understand what Arthur was trying to get at with his work. And interestingly enough, Jenny has Arthur's own chart in Arthur's own hand on an original polar azimuthal that he drew from the 70s. Now, this is a, an example of Arthur's polar azimuthal. And it shows us all the great circles that are in play in the celestial sphere. Cut. Now, we're going to go back to that projection in a second, but just to understand what's really going on here with it is first, think of the flag of the UN. It's looking down from the North Pole, and everything is splayed out from there. The image is this. If I put my thumb on an orange, and I peel that orange back, so that the entire bottom of the orange is the outer part of the circle and stretches it. The North Pole is in the center. The entire circumference is the South Pole. So things that are close to the North Pole, if we were looking at it from space, look pretty much the way we would think they do, just like the flag of the UN. But as we get out to, South, to Antarctica, South America and stuff, uh, Australia, you'll see stretching and pulling because it gets distorted. But this is centered on the north. We could center it on the south as well, but this is centered on the north. 